Welcome pastors and ministry leaders to this week's Marry the Vision V-Mail. I'm Ron Yutzi, and for the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you some things that I pray are going to lift your spirit, strengthen you in your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, and encourage you in fulfilling the ministry assignment that He, Jesus, the head of the church, has entrusted to you. So today, I want to talk to you about something that I feel is really important, and that is a spirit of excellence. You know, I got a question. How would you, pastor, ministry leader, how would you describe excellence? How would you describe a person of excellence? You know, I recently read an article that was written in June 2023 that was entitled, The Decline of Excellence in America. And it stated, the American attitude has changed. We no longer are a people who fight to win. Instead, we seek to make everybody feel wanted by forsaking excellence and embracing mediocrity, thus ridding people of the social desire to be excellent and succeed. So what happens is everybody gets a blue ribbon and those who were excellent, they receive the same blue ribbon as those who are mediocre. Thus, we lose both the fighting spirit and the individuality that is gained by excellence and hard work. So, we cease to strive to win. Their question in the article is, if everyone gets a blue ribbon, how special is that really? I want to define for you the word excellent. The word excellent is defined as to exceed, to excel, to abound, to be distinguished, from what becomes now superior. Excellence seeks to excel one step beyond where you are at the moment. It seeks to excel at a skill or excel in an attitude. It excels in knowledge. It excels in a behavior. It will excel in a relationship or in a ministry endeavor, etc. Interesting how the scripture reveals to us that a spirit of excellence will distinguish above what is perceived as good or normal. Daniel 6 verse 3, Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. Hey, let's remember the backdrop of this, folks. These governors and satraps had been familiar with the king. They had been serving the king a whole lot longer than Daniel. And let's remember, Daniel was a captive in Babylon. Yet, the king, by his observation, Daniel got the king's attention because an excellent spirit was in Daniel. So much that the king gave thought, the king of Babylon, listen to this, of promoting him, Daniel the captive, above the governors and satraps. Now, these folks, they'd end up answering to Daniel. So you gotta know, their jealousy and pride, it definitely rose so much that we know they plotted against Daniel and ultimately they influenced the king to throw Daniel into the lion's den. But here's what I want you to notice. Notice that a spirit of excellence in Daniel got the attention of the king of Babylon. Mm, here's a thought for you, pastor, ministry leader. A spirit of excellence in us, in our people, in our church, will also get the attention of our King, Jesus Christ. You see, a spirit of excellence is nurtured first inward, and then it's displayed outward. Now, what do I mean by nurtured inward? Nurtured inward is that excellence that starts within with your attitude, your perception on things, how you see things, how you excel in your thought life, what you choose to think about and by dismissing other things that are lower level, that are not going to assist you. You begin to imagine things on how they can be better and therefore you choose to see opportunity and then pursue it. Excellence also deals with your inner motivation. What truly motivates you to improve to be better? What really is the motivation? Now think about it. As a Christian leader, it should be to honor, glorify, and please God. It should be to be 
a faithful servant in the assignment that he's entrusted to us so that when we see him, we hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant. Excellence is that inward desire to improve, to develop, to pursue the next level of whatever that may be. You see, this motivation speaks about what we value, and Jesus affirmed that in Matthew 6, 21. Remember when he said that where your treasure is there, where your heart is rather, there will your treasure, your desire be? So let's talk about now what is displayed outward, because while there's an inward motivation, it works itself outward, and these are our actions. These are our performance. This is how we present ourselves. That outward display is how we excel in expressing ourselves in a given situation. It's how we consistently present ourselves. This is before your people, when you're sharing, when you're one-on-one -on -one in your home. I mean, these, this way that we act and display ourselves, it, it shapes habits that end up getting developed through consistency of actions and disciplines. In other words, an excellent spirit, when I work on it inward and outward, will drive out mediocrity. Because excellence doesn't settle for doing just enough to get by. But it seeks to excel in applying the right activities and actions to continue to improve. To continue to better my service to the king. To continue to advance farther the mission that I'm participating in. Proverbs 22 verse 29 says this. Do you see a man who excels in his work? Notice what happens. He will stand before kings. He will not stand before unknown men. Why is that? Because God is honored in excellence. And God promotes those who have embodied the excellent spirit in inward and in their work. So I ask you, how about you, ministry leader? How about you, staff member? How about you? Are you proactively seeking today to excel, to give your best in everything you set your hand unto, to give your best in the work that God has called you to serve in? Are you honoring God? Are you honoring the leaders that you serve? Are you honoring the people that you serve with? Those are questions only you can answer. My encouragement would be that you do. You press forward. Just go one step beyond where you are. Let me close by giving you a few scriptures to meditate on that will help nurture a spirit of excellence. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, speaking about you, speaking about me, be steadfast, immovable, notice, always abounding. There's that word, abound, excellence, to go one step beyond. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Colossians 3.17, and whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, as a representative of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God, that humility, giving thanks that he allowed you to serve and work in his vineyard. Colossians 3, verse 22 and 24, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ that you are serving. I want to pray for you. Lord, I pray that our desire continues to grow to please you. Help us, Lord, to nurture a spirit of excellence within us and is expressed outside that honors you in everything that we do, everything we think, everything we set our hands unto. Help us, Lord, to be aware of an example of an excellent spirit that we provide to the people that we lead and that this spirit of excellence, I pray, will permeate our congregations, permeate our service, permeate our service to you, and God, permeate and impact our community with the spreading of the love and gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, I pray that this has been helpful, even sharpening and encouraging for you today. 
Would you please help me reach across the table and around the world to support another pastor, another ministry leader just like you, or a local church just like the one you're in, in fulfilling their ministry assignment? You say, how, Ron, can I do that? It's very simple. By sharing this video. Share our Marry the Vision YouTube page. Share our website with another leader that you know would benefit from the exposure of our content. I want to thank you ahead of time for helping me. Until next week, this is Ron Yutzi. I am committed to your ministry success in Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching this video. Hey, do you have a desire to unlock more of your leadership potential? Possibly elevate your leadership skills? I have a special offer just for you. My Leadership Essentials course will help you do exactly that. Unlock your leadership potential and elevate your leadership skills. So sign up by using the QR code or link provided. Don't delay. Sign up today for a leadership-enhancing journey.